and challenge anybody to come past her. Women's 800 meter final. <laughs> Keely Hodgkinson went straight off the mark as though she, it was a 400 meter race. And as if to say, whatever you're gonna do, I think Mo, I'm gonna be right with you here. And she's gone hard round the first bend. The American, if she wants to get to the front, is gonna to have to go past Keely. And Great Britain's Keely Hodgkinson clinched a gritty silver on the final day of the World Championships. The 20-year-old adds to her Olympic silver medal from last year after running a season's best of 1 minute 56.38 seconds in Eugene. She was beaten to gold by the USA's Athing Mew, who also took victory at the Tokyo Olympics last year, with Kenya's Mary Moore a third. Hodgkinson was ahead with 700 meters to go by 0.03 seconds but New rallied in the final 100 meters and managed to squeeze her British rival out just before the line. Mo has left the gap there and Keely Hodgkinson just uses her elbows to try and get through. Watch out for Mary Mora. She's always so strong in the home straight and Mo's trying to shut the door on Keely Hodgkinson. It's the American who takes the gold. Hodgkinson the silver. Mora takes the bronze. What a race by all three women. That, that gap left open, I think Mo always runs on the outside of her lane. I don't know why, but it's, it's, it's the way that she's always run. So that gap was there. Keely decided to go for it. But I just think she couldn't quite squeeze through. So close. I think Mo with a well leading 156-3. Great performance from the American. But Keely, so, so close. Yeah, that's what I was saying. <laughs> so it was very tactical from what I think did just off that top bend and almost didn't give Keely enough room in the vital moment to push through. And when you think about their age, they showed such mature running, which is always going to be key and crucial, especially when you're moving at speed. Decisions have to be made, you know, I mean, life-changing decisions have to be made. In she's not overwhelmed by the situation she's put in. She's not over dominated by Athimo. she's just there like stamping her mark on the world and she'll be doing that for a long time well there she is heading down to talk to the team in eugene she's with sarah markarian and we can hear from our world silver medalist keely hodgkinson world silver medalist indeed keely um how does that feel how are you doing um yeah i'm fine i gave it everything so close <laughs> but you know it's a lot closer than i was last year so i'm grateful to be on a world podium and a world final healthy and being able to you know, fight all the way, but I am a bit gutted, and to say I'm gutted with a world medal is, it shows how far I've come, but I've got more to work on, um, and yeah, I've got a world champs next year, so can't do all too much. And was it that gap and the way that kind of final bend on 100 played out, is that where you thought maybe you could get it? I thought it would come down to the last 100, um, I went on the inside, which I thought probably not a good idea, but <laughs> the gap was there, so I just went with it, and um, yeah, I gave it everything right up to the line. So I can't complain too much, actually, but I'm happy. I will tell the not too bad. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I understand, you know, these things can be difficult, can't they? You put all your energy into training and when you come so close, but, you know, another global championship, such a young age, another silver medal, and I mean, so close as well. So I know it can be tough, but, you know, as you say yourself, when you're putting it into perspective, so much more to come. Yeah, it definitely adds um, fuel to the fire. I think that's the right way around. Um, yeah, literally, I'll just go away. We've still got more championships to come, so i got to refocus for that. Um, I'll celebrate one more, so going in for a bit more, so I'll, I'll look forward to next year. And mentally, Keely, you seem like a big championship performer and so strong. What is it about the big stage that inspires you and gets you far down? Um, I just think it's like a fresh plate, you know? Like, it doesn't matter how you're doing during the diamond league season. Last year, I could have fallen some fifths. I still got Olympic silver. This year, I would have been more consistent, which is what I wanted. But again, it doesn't mean anything. When you come here, it's a new plate. You just got to give everything and take the opportunity. And so the rest of the season, then, you starting to think about that? What's the, you know, because it's so busy, isn't it, with what's on? You know, do you have a plan yourself? Um, no, I'll just be trying to get mentally ready. I'm tired. I'm the championships. It is tiring, mentally and physically, but uh, it's what we work to do. So just gotta keep going. Well, congratulations! A world silver medal in the 800. Well done. Thank you very much. Mo has left the gap there. And Keely Hutchinson just uses her elbows to try and get through. Watch out for Mary Mora. She's always so strong in the home straight. And Mo's trying to shut the door on Keely Hutchinson. It's the American who takes the gold. Hutchinson the silver. Mora takes the bronze. What a race by all three women.